welcome back to this series. This is the Knowledge Catalog. It's uh, Grade Nine Biology. Um, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, this is the uh, ninth video in this series. I am sorry, I haven't been uh, uploading in a while. Mention the basic essay also comprehensive examinations, but I am back now. And this video is going to tackle this learning competency, which is explaining the different patterns of non Mendelian inheritance. So this is for grade 9. Kaya nga yung playlist natin na uh, ano ginagamit for this is uh, still grade 9 biology. Ayan. So you will be needing a copy of the learner's module, uh, particularly in uh, unit 1, module 2, pages 8 to 11. Okay, so let's uh, begin. And so as usual, this PowerPoint presentation is divided into three parts. The first part being a discussion about the multi about multiple alleles. The second part is an activity about uh, you know blood type, and it's entitled "What's Your Blood Type." And then the last uh, part is going to be a discussion. Um, it's about sex chromosomes and sex determination. Uh, for the first part, multiple alleles, um, we are going to first observe this uh, table. So, in the first column, uh, meron dyan blood type A, B, A, B, and O. So, they're quite familiar. And then for the genotypes naman, we have their, um, yeah, those alleles. So, as you can see, and I hope na na-notice din ninyo, that uh, in here, um, I, A, and I, A, as well as I, A with I, lowercase I, are uh, coding for A. Uh, B naman, are, they look like the same. Homozygous and then heterozygous. Uh, pero yung magiging uh, blood type niya, kahit heter kapag heterozygous siya, is still going to be B. And then for AB naman, meron siyang antigen A and B. Okay, making it AB. And then for O naman, wala siya nung dalawang antigens na yun. So yeah, what is multiple alleles? Usually kasi kapag alil, um, dalawa lang sila. So uppercase T halimbawa is for tallness and then lowercase T is going to be for shortness. Halimbawa naman for uh, color of the eye, pwedeng uppercase B can code for black and then lowercase B can code for blue. Um, kapag uppercase, usually mga dominant talaga yung mga yun. Kapag naman lowercase, they are uh, recessive. Such as in this case, yung antigen na A and B, they're considered to be dominant over the antigen for uh, O, which is, uh, you know, lowercase i. Okay, there are times, again, na mer merong mga more than two alleles na pwede mag for a particular trait. In this case, uh, the in the human ABO blood type system, ang mga alleles are uh, A, B, and I. Ayan. Uh, both antigens A and B are dominant over I. Kaya nga sila they are being kaya nga they are being written in uh, uppercase because again they are dominant. When A and B are inherited, they will be co-dominant with each other. However, co-dominance is a uh, different talk pa. Pero yeah, uh, what it says here is also holding true that yeah they are co-dominant with each other. Uh, that is, if you if you observe their genotypes, and uh, if you know what phenotype means, it's the physical manifestation. Um, you will agree that indeed uh, A and B as antigens are co-dominant. Let us now proceed to activity number three, uh, which is uh, the second part of this PowerPoint presentation. So it's entitled, "What's Your Blood Type." Our objective is to be able to infer the unknown phenotypes of individuals based on the known phenotypes of their family members. We will be needing a piece of paper and, uh, you know, a pencil or perhaps another writing instrument in doing this activity. And so what you know so far here is that for multiple alleles, meron tayong uh, more than two alleles na pwedeng mag-code for a particular trait. In the ABO human uh, blood type system, uh, A and B, antigens for A and B, are both dominant, whereas uh, I, lowercase i, is a recessive one. So, meron tayong tatlong alleles. Kaya nga, tinawag siyang multiple alleles. Now, for this activity, I need you to observe muna the following, um, the following table. So, in this case, uh, for A, Given the blood types of the mother and the child's blood type, you have to identify the possible blood type of the father. So, pwedeng blood type, pwedeng blood types. Baka 
meron kayo ma-discover na more, more than one, more than one blood type for the father. That's just okay. Now, uh, if you need to, ano, uh, if you need more time to copy this uh, table and then answer it at the same time, you may pause this video. If you have decided to continue um, watching this video, um, you may we may now move to the next one. Okay, for B, uh, you have to show the possible alleles that can be found in each offspring and write the blood type for each offspring. Um, the possible alleles from the father are uh, A, B, and O, and then the possible alleles from the mother, A, B, and O. So, walang blood type na AB in this uh, in this part of the activity. Note as well that when we say allele, this is like the letter that codes for a particular trait. Okay, so yung kanina, yung IA, that is an allele. IB is an allele. Yung lowercase i is also an allele. If you need more time to finish this, uh, to, to copy this uh, table and, you know, finish answering it, you may pause this video. If you have decided to continue, let us now move to the next part. Question number 10. What blood type or types can be found in an offspring if a mother has type A blood and the father has type B blood? So, anong uri ng blood type ang pwedeng ma makita sa isang offspring kung yung mama niya or yung mother niya is a blood type A and then yung father naman niya is a blood type B? You may pause this video to answer uh, to uh, no, to gain more time in answering this question. If you have decided to continue, let's move to question number 11. Blood type or blood types. What blood type or blood types can be found in an offspring if a mother has blood type AB? Uh, tapos yung father naman niya, meron siyang type B. So it's basically the same question. Anong pwedeng blood type ang meron ng isang offspring kung yung mama niya or yung mother niya has blood type AB at yung tatay naman niya has blood type B. You may pause this uh, video to have more time in answering this question. If you have con if you have decided to continue with the video, let us now proceed. Question number 12. Uh, what blood type or blood types can be found in an offspring if a mother has type O blood and the father has type B blood? Basically, basically the same question, but this time it's asking if the mother has blood type O and the father has blood type B, what is going to be the possible blood type that is going to be found in the offspring? If you need more time to answer this question, you may... Uh, pause it muna, and then if you have decided to continue, let's proceed. For A, table A, this is our um, correct table. So for father's blood type, we have A, B, AB, or O. And then A or AB, A, B, AB, or O. And then A, B or O. You may, you know, take time to check your own work. If you have decided to continue, let us proceed with the next part. Okay, blood type for not blood type for letter B. The following are the possible alleles from the father, and the following are the possible alleles for the mother. So, what are going to be the possible alleles for the offspring? So we have type A. Type B, type A and O. And then type AB, type B, type B and O. Type A and O, type B and O. And only type O for the last uh, cell. Okay, so you may need more time to check your own work. If you have decided to continue, let us proceed with an explanation. Um, itong si type A and A dito, if you cross them together, their offspring are going to be type A. A and B naman, if you cross them together, uh, the offspring will surely be B. And then if you cross A and O, the offspring will be either A or O. And uh, that is how it's explained as well for the next uh, 
blood types for the next offsprings or offspring. For answer for question number 10, uh, the possible blood types found in an offspring with a mother that has a type A blood and then a father with the type B blood are the following. So, pwedeng AB, pwedeng B, pwedeng A, and O. You may take uh, some time to check your own work and if you have decided to continue, let us deal with the, the answer to question number 11. So question number 11, what are the blood types, possible blood types found in an offspring if a mother has a type AB blood and the father has a type B blood? So the possible blood types are A, B, and AB. You may need some more time to, to check your own work. If you have decided to continue, let's proceed. Question number 12. What blood type or types can be found in an offspring if a mother has type O blood and the father has type B blood? The answers are B and O. I really do hope that you got a very good score in this activity. Let us now proceed with the last part of this PowerPoint presentation. It is a discussion about sex chromosomes and sex determination. Um, the expression of some traits, they depend on whether the organism is a male or a female. Well, we're not being sexist here, we are actually speaking the truth. Like, uh, we know that there are gender identities, but we are talking here about uh, the, you know, the uh, biological sexual characteristics na mayroon ang humans that is, an, I mean, considered to be of the norm. So usually, uh, male and female uh, humans are born. Okay, so... Okay, so for the purpose of clarification, there it is. So first, let's, let us uh, uh, have a review of uh, the following um, chromosomes. Among humans, there are 46 uh, chromosomes. Uh, it is been 46 pieces of chromosomes. Um, they are uh, paired up, so we have 23 pairs of chromosomes. Okay, so they are also showed here. Ang mga to are uh, yung chromosome number 1 until chromosome number 22 are called autosomes. They are uh, body chromosomes. Okay, so autosomes are body chromosomes. They are coding for the characteristics of the general morphology of a particular organism. In this case, humans. Ang mga autosomes yung mga ano, pinakapunong abala when it comes to um, design, the design of the body of a human. Now, the sex chromosomes are the 23rd pair. So, as you notice, ang um, sex chromosomes right here, or the gonadal chromosomes, are the uh, last ones dito sa may bandang side. Um, dalawa yung nakikita yung pairs kasi yung isa, pwede sa female, which is XX, and the other one, pwede sa, uh, this is going to be for the males, di pala pwede yung tamang term. Yung dalawang XX, it's for the females, and then yung merong X and Y, that's for the males. And you call them sex chromosomes. The egg cell is always X. Okay, it always bears, uh, it always bears an X uh, chromosome. Whereas, ang mga sperms, pwedeng meron sa kanila, X ang dala niyang uh, sex chromosome. May isa naman, pwedeng Y yung dala niyang sex chromosome. Now, if the egg cell, which is X, is fertilized by a sperm cell na X then ang mangyayari is yung magiging um, progeny or magiging offspring is going to be a female, XX. Whereas kapag alimbawa yung egg cell is fertilized by a sperm cell na may dalang Y sex chromosome, ang mangyayari is yung offspring is going to become, yes, you guessed it, it's a male. Remember kapag XX, yung um, 23rd pair ng isang, ng isang tao, yung taong yun is a female. And if XY naman, yung 23rd a pair of chromosomes nung taang yun, that same human is a male or, yeah, lalaki. Okay, now, um, this table is showing us all of the possible um, sexes na pwedeng maproduce by crossing these two sex chromosomes. Okay, so, as you can see, uh, kapag babae, um, it has to be between a cross, uh, I mean, it, is, it has to be a cross between uh, two X's. And kapag naman lalaki, it has to be a cross between X and Y. And so that ends our discussion for this video. Um, it's about sex chromosomes and sex determination.
As a quick recap, the following are the parts of our uh, PowerPoint number 9. Okay, so the first is a discussion about multiple alleles. Remember, um, IA and IB are dominant. They can be co-dominant. And uh, the third allele, kaya multiple alleles yan, is the lowercase i. Activity number three naman is what's your blood type? So you did uh, finish two tables in there and then answered three questions. So yeah, remember that uh, there are specific types of blood types na pwedeng ma-produce by mixing a particular you know, combination of blood types too. And then the last part is a discussion. It was about sex chromosomes and sex determination. So kapag ang X na egg cell, it was crossed by an X na sperm cell ang produce na anak is going to be a female. And if yung X na egg cell was crossed by a Y sperm cell, the resulting offspring is going to be a male. The Knowledge Catalog is a brand being developed by a teacher creator, yours truly. And I'm a high school teacher in the Philippines. I love developing content I find useful and needed to better my instruction. If you want to support uh, this channel, you may leave a like to this video or subscribe to this channel or perhaps, uh, you know, click on that bell button after subscribing. And I hope that I will be seeing you in the next video, especially the next video for this series. Have a good one.